Welcome to another book review. This is my second one that I've done, and this time we're going to do my favorite series of all time. This is called Lost Signs of Life, and it's based off of season one of Lost right here. An original novel based on the TV series created by Jeffrey Lieber and J.J. Abrams and um, Damon Lindloth. And this book is written by Frank Thompson, which is a Lost fanatic. I really like him a lot. He does other... Um, live action book novels right here got the side and here's um the back right there someone is out there they're talking about the smoke monster Nick Hurley did some terrible things the framed artist sculpture and professor was once the toast of the art of world but scoundrels turn his life upside down Nick needed a place to stay lay low for a while and boarding the oceanic flight 815 he got just that now, one of many survivals of the plane crash, Nick has the time in the world to reflect on his bad choices. The island life even seems instill of them newfound artistic inspiration. But Nick's new drawings take on a sinister quality. He begins having dreams, horribly vivid dreams, and then comes to voices and the feeling of guilt and pain as the island's trying to tell him something, or is, is his past finally catching up to him? Well, uh, we'll find out um, if we um, open the uh, book and started reading about Nick's past, because it is revealed right here in this book. Alrighty, we're going to look through it. By the way, Lost is a great series. Um, I still haven't gotten the last two seasons. I have it on um, Xbox Live, Netflix, but I'm going to get get those last two on Blu-ray and... Um, me and my sister is going to have a um, Lost Marathon starting with Season 1 pretty soon when I get Season 5 and 6 on Blu-ray. Alrighty then, um, there's the um, introduction right here. They're talking about uh, plans about Nick and how um, he um, survived with the others. By the way, um, I believe he wasn't on Flight 815, but uh, we shall find out. He's heading into the model's eyes. Found a statue of a model. <clears throat> and um, they're um, trying to search for food now. They're going to hunt um, boars. <clears throat> By the way, Sawyer um, decided not to kill the other boar because it's the uh, mother boar and the... Um, Babies will not live without the mother if he kills them. And now, um, right here, they're talking about um, Jeffrey Hurdley's past, right there, about how he was a CEO in Australia. And um, Jeff is having a hard time on the beach. I believe he's um, gotten some rashes or poison ivy. And um, they heard a bandit slipping off the island. Um, they went chasing after him. I want to flip through and tell you some um, scenes of the book. Oh, there's a Mr. Blonde in here. <clears throat> By the way, this is um, this is a fast. The book, even the books, are fascinating. I am strongly amazed. Of course, Hurley is in it. Jeff laughed and said, where, where was Hurley when I was back in England and needed a press ancient? He seems to be able to spread the word pretty efficiently. And he, t Hurley twisted around and he called, If you're going to talk to me, you better keep it up clean. <sighs> and apparently, um, Hurley um, doesn't know how to hunt boars. <laughs> Which is really hilarious with Hurley. <clears throat> the Newman wishes a male to major to respective of your work and he, Jeff smiled and now that's the good news 
and the Mr. Blonde Smile back and continue, but the best is yet to come. They would li like for you to um, accompany the exhibit as if were. They ask that you give a second of lectures and master classes in conjunction in the museum's program, and they will offer you quite a handsome honorarium. Hmm. Nice quotes. Nice quotes here. Wait a minute, um, what caves? Apparently they found the cave with a spring in it and they want to get some fresh water. <clears throat> and Jeff wrapped an arm around Michael's neck and pulled with his strength. The cave's entrance seems to be the universe way, but the... Within the sounds, Jeff and Michael reach up and fell through into the outdoors as they climbed through the hallowed halls of the cave as they collapsed in front of the cave. So Michael and Jeff got um, trapped in the cave and Jack is t trying to help them escape. Apparently they did and um, Jack freed Michael and Jeff out and um, they got um, hurt not badly but some bruises and scrapes. And apparently, um, Michael was being the uh, bad guy in, in the season one of Lost. Apparently, um, claims that he stole Jim's watch. He burned Walt's Spanish comic out. And now, um, Walt is, Locke is trying to, um, teach Walt how to hunt. Here's an important scene. <clears throat> when the polar bear came out trying to attack Locke. Walt got out his trusty knife and stabbed it with a fork with a knife. And then the polar bear um bleed. Kind of an kind of a intense scene right there. And then the next morning Jeff awoke. And of course Jeff Haley smiled, continuing stretching. Savannah's prediction was true so far, and Jeff knew it would be true for the rest of his life. Alrighty, then that's the end of book two. I do not have books one and four, but I do want to get it. This is um, this is a must for book of fans. A uh, lost um, artwork. There's um, ads right there. And there you go. That is my review of Lost Signs of Life novel. I hope you enjoyed it.